Luckily, we have great relationships with several of the multi-engine examiners in the Northeast. So the average, as I say, is that we can get people done in six days on the typical Thursday to Tuesday schedule. I don't think we could do it if we didn't have the DA42. Um, the ease of use, the ability of people who have been in other diamonds to adapt to it very easily, the reliability of the G1000, uh, the autopilot, and perhaps especially the FADEC design and the ECU uh, engine control means that it's very easy for people to understand, practice, and ultimately demonstrate to standards all of the multi-engine tasks. As you can see, for the rear seat of a four-seat aircraft, this is actually pretty spacious. And if they pop this here, you can see how much room there is in the baggage area, include, including that small aft compartment. Our flight school owner bought this plane used uh, a couple of years ago. It had been living down south. Uh, this one happens not to have the de-icing system installed. Uh, we knew that was fine for us because we're generally just using this for local training operations. But uh, at some point, if we were converted to cross-country missions, we would add it. I would say it's, in my experience, pretty standard on most of the 42s and certainly an option if you wanted to train or fly one. As a matter of fact, the other two DA-42s in our fleet do have the de-icing system. This cockpit setup should look familiar to anyone who's flown the either the Avgas or the diesel single engine DA-40, uh, the DA-4180 or the DA-40NG. This has the uh, very popular G1000 avionics suite from Garmin. Um, so on the left side, the primary flight display, we've got all of our typical what used to be steam gauge six packs instruments represented, as well as a lot of other useful data, inset maps, outside air temp, things like that. <clears throat> On the right side, we've got, for situational awareness, a great rangeable map. So this is good for taxi operations, about a couple of miles for typically pattern work. And then as we start going places on cross countries, I might be at five miles out or 10 miles out, depending on how widely I want to scan the area in which we're operating and where we're going. 